Hello friends, is free will an illusion? This question has captivated philosophers, scientists and thinkers for centuries. The debate encompasses various fields including neuroscience, psychology and physics and has profound implications for our understanding of human behavior, morality and personal responsibility. The debate on free will versus determinism has its roots in ancient philosophy. Greek philosophers like Socrates, Plato and Aristotle explored whether humans have the power to choose their actions freely or if their choices are predetermined by a sequence of events and causes. Over the centuries, this debate has evolved, incorporating insights from science and religion. The rise of modern science, particularly during the Enlightenment, brought a new dimension to this discourse as natural laws and empirical evidence began to challenge the notion of free will. In contemporary times, the discussion has expanded significantly with contributions from neuroscience, psychology, and quantum physics. Neuroscientists study brain activity to understand the mechanisms behind decision-making and consciousness. Studies using brain imaging techniques such as functional MRI and EEG have provided insights into how the brain processes information and makes choices. Some experiments suggest that brain activity predicting a decision occurs before a person becomes consciously aware of making that decision. This finding raises questions about the extent to which conscious thought influences our actions and whether free will is merely an illusion created by the brain. One of the most famous experiments challenging the notion of free will is the Libet experiment, conducted by neuroscientist Benjamin Libet in the 1980s. Libet's study measured the time at which participants became aware of their intention to move a finger compared to the onset of brain activity related to that movement. The results showed that brain activity began several hundred milliseconds before participants reported their conscious decision to act. This led to the hypothesis that unconscious processes in the brain initiate actions and conscious awareness follows as a byproduct. Libet's findings have sparked extensive debate and further research, with some scientists arguing that these results undermine the concept of free will. However, the interpretation of Libet's experiment and similar studies is not straightforward. Critics argue that the time gap between unconscious brain activity and conscious awareness does not necessarily negate free will. They suggest that conscious decision-making might involve higher-level processes that guide and influence the final action, even if the initial trigger occurs unconsciously. This perspective aligns with the idea of compatibilism, which proposes that free will is compatible with determinism. According to compatibilism, individuals can be considered free if they act according to their desires and intentions, even if those desires and intentions have deterministic origins. Philosophers and scientists have also explored the role of quantum mechanics in the free will debate. Quantum mechanics introduces elements of randomness and unpredictability at the subatomic level, which some interpret as potential evidence for free will. If the universe is not entirely deterministic, then perhaps human actions are not predetermined either. However, the implications of quantum mechanics for free will are still a matter of debate. The randomness inherent in quantum events does not necessarily translate to meaningful freedom in human decision-making. And many physicists argue that quantum indeterminacy does not provide a sufficient basis for free will. Psychology offers another angle on the free will debate by examining how people perceive and experience their own choices. Studies in social psychology have shown that individuals often believe they have more control over their actions than they actually do. This phenomenon, known as the illusion of control, suggests that people may overestimate their ability to influence outcomes. Additionally, 
Research on cognitive biases and heuristics demonstrates that decision-making is often influenced by unconscious factors such as emotions, prior experiences, and social context. These findings suggest that our sense of free will might be shaped by cognitive processes that operate outside of our conscious awareness. The concept of moral responsibility is closely linked to the debate on free will. If human actions are determined by factors beyond our control, then the basis for holding individuals morally accountable becomes questionable. Philosophers have long grappled with the implications of determinism for ethics and justice. Some argue that without free will, concepts like praise, blame, and punishment lose their meaning. Others contend that we can still hold individuals accountable based on their actions and intentions, even if those actions and intentions are influenced by deterministic factors. Religious perspectives on free will also vary widely. Many religious traditions such as Christianity, Islam and Judaism emphasize the importance of free will in moral and spiritual life. The belief in free will underpins doctrines of sin, repentance and divine judgment. However, theological debates also exist within these traditions with some theologians advocating for predestination or divine foreknowledge, which can complicate the notion of human freedom. Reconciling religious beliefs with scientific findings on free will remains a complex and ongoing challenge. Hard determinism asserts that every event, including human actions, is determined by preceding events and natural laws. From this perspective, Free will is an illusion because our choices are the result of causal chains beyond our control. In contrast, libertarianism posits that humans have genuine free will and that some actions are not determined by prior causes. Libertarians argue that free will is necessary for moral responsibility and that individuals have the power to make choices independent of deterministic influences. The concept of agency is another important aspect of the free will debate. Agency refers to the capacity of individuals to act independently and make their own choices. Philosophers and social scientists examine how various factors such as social structures, cultural norms and personal beliefs influence human agency. Understanding the interplay between individual agency and external determinants can provide insights into the nature of free will and the extent to which people can exercise control over their actions. Emerging research in artificial intelligence and robotics also contributes to the discussion on free will. As machines become increasingly sophisticated and capable of autonomous decision-making, questions arise about the nature of machine agency and the potential for artificial free will. Can robots and AI systems possess a form of free will or are their actions entirely determined by their programming and environmental inputs? Exploring these questions can help us understand the broader implications of free will in the context of advancing technology. To further expand this discussion and reach the desired length, we can delve into historical perspectives on free will, tracing its evolution from ancient philosophy to contemporary debates. Examining the contributions of key philosophers such as Immanuel Kant, Friedrich Nietzsche, and Jean-Paul Sartre can provide a richer understanding of the philosophical dimensions of free will. Additionally, we can explore cross-cultural perspectives on free will, comparing how different cultures and traditions understand and value the concept of human freedom. We can also consider the implications of free will for various fields such as law, education, and mental health. In the legal system, the concept of free will underpins notions of criminal responsibility and justice. Examining how legal systems address issues of free will and determinism can provide insights into the practical consequences of this debate. In education, Understanding the role of free will in learning and motivation can inform teaching strategies and approaches to student development. In mental health, 
exploring how beliefs about free will influence individuals' sense of agency and well-being, can contribute to more effective therapeutic interventions. Artists, writers, and musicians often describe their work as an exercise of free will and personal expression. Investigating how the concept of free will influences creativity and the production of art can shed light on the relationship between autonomy and artistic endeavor. Moreover, we can examine the potential future directions of free will research, including advancements in neuroscience, psychology, and artificial intelligence. Emerging technologies, such as brain-computer interfaces and neuro-enhancement, may have profound implications for our understanding of free will and personal autonomy. Exploring these future possibilities can provide a forward-looking perspective on the ongoing free will debate. The role of free will in decision-making processes is another rich area for exploration. Cognitive science studies how people make decisions and the factors that influence their choices. By understanding the cognitive processes behind decision-making, we can gain insights into the extent to which free will plays a role in our daily lives. This includes examining the impact of external influences, such as social pressures and environmental factors, on our ability to make free choices. Additionally, the exploration of free will can be expanded by considering its implications for personal identity and self-concept. How do beliefs about free will influence our sense of self and our perception of personal agency? Understanding this relationship can provide deeper insights into human psychology and the factors that shape our identity. Different societies and cultures have varying beliefs and values regarding free will and individual autonomy. Exploring these differences can provide a broader perspective on how free will is understood and valued in different parts of the world. This includes examining how cultural norms and social structures influence individual agency and decision-making. The concept of free will also has significant implications for ethics and moral philosophy. If free will is an illusion, what does this mean for our understanding of moral responsibility and ethical behavior? Philosophers have long debated the relationship between free will and morality, and exploring these debates can provide valuable insights into the nature of ethical decision-making and the foundations of moral judgment. Another important aspect to consider is the role of free will in existential philosophy. Existentialists such as Jean-Paul Sartre and Friedrich Nietzsche emphasize the importance of free will and personal responsibility in defining human existence. Exploring the existentialist perspective on free will can provide a deeper understanding of the philosophical underpinnings of human freedom and autonomy. How do beliefs about free will influence political ideologies and policies? Understanding the relationship between free will and social justice can provide insights into the development of fair and equitable societies. How do beliefs about free will influence individuals' mental health and their ability to cope with life's challenges? Understanding this relationship can contribute to more effective therapeutic approaches and interventions. The potential for new discoveries and advancements in the study of free will is another important area to consider. As our understanding of the brain and human behavior continues to evolve, new research and technologies may provide deeper insights into the nature of free will and its implications for human life. Exploring these future directions can provide a forward-looking perspective on the ongoing free will debate. The question of whether free will is an illusion is a profound and multifaceted topic that spans philosophy, science, and beyond. By exploring the history, theories, experiments, and implications of this concept in great detail, we can gain a deeper understanding of human behavior, morality, and the nature of reality. This journey of discovery continues to inspire scientific inquiry and philosophical reflection, driving our quest to unravel the mysteries of free will and our sense of autonomy.
The exploration of free will opens up a vast and rich field of study, with many avenues for further research and discovery, ensuring that this topic will continue to captivate and challenge us for generations to come. Thank you for joining us on this journey through free will. Please like, comment and share the video and please do not forget to subscribe for more videos.